Our global growth forecast for this year is unchanged at 3.2%, while our projection for 2023 is lowered to 2.7%, 0 0.2 percentage points lower than the July forecast. The 2023 slowdown will be broad-based, with countries accounting for a third of the global economy expected to contract this year or next. The three largest economies, the United States, China, and the Euro area, will continue to stall. In short, the worst is yet to come, and for many people, 2023 will feel like a recession. Global growth next year could slow down to below 2%, a historically low level. We've only had that five times since 1970. The slowdown is most pronounced in the euro area, where the energy crisis caused by the war will continue to take a heavy toll, reducing growth to 0.5% in 2023. Almost everywhere, rapidly rising prices, especially for food and energy, are causing serious hardships for vulnerable households. Despite the slowdown, inflation pressures are proving broader and more persistent than anticipated. Global inflation is now expected to peak at 9.5% in the third quarter of 2022, before decelerating to 4.1% by 2024. Inflation is also broadening beyond food and energy. Global core inflation rose from an annualized monthly rate of 4.2% at the end of 2021 to 6.7% in July for the median country. Downside risks remain elevated, and policy trade-offs have become acutely challenging. Here are a few of the ones we highlight in our report. The risk of monetary, fiscal, or financial policy miscalibration has risen sharply at a time of high uncertainty and growing fragilities. Global financial conditions could deteriorate and the dollar strengthen further should turmoil in financial markets erupt. Inflation could yet again prove more persistent, especially if labor markets remain extremely tight. Finally, the war in Ukraine is still raging, and further escalation can exacerbate the energy crisis.